Hi, my name is Daniel Helfan, and I'm a developer advocate with GitLab. And today in this video, I'm excited to announce that as part of GitLab 18, GitLab Premium and Ultimate customers will now have access to certain features of GitLab Duo, which is GitLab's AI coding assistant. For developers who are just getting started with this experience, this video will help you go through the installation process. Let's get started. To get started with GitLab Premium and Ultimate with Duo, you'll want to go ahead and set up GitLab Duo within your IDE. Currently, we support VS Code, JetBrains, Visual Studio, and NeoVim. In this example, we'll use VS Code, but know that the instructions are pretty similar for each IDE. Going out to VS Code, we'll click on the Extensions Marketplace, and if you search GitLab, the GitLab Workflow extension will be one of the first options that comes up. Click Install, and then you can verify that it's been properly installed by seeing the GitLab icon show up on the left-hand side of your IDE. Let's go ahead and click on the icon, and then we'll be prompted to authenticate out to our GitLab instance. You'll have two options to use GitLab.com, or if you're using self-manage, to manually input the instance URL that you're using. I'll select GitLab.com, and then I'll select to create a personal access token to authenticate to my instance. Lastly, I'll select the Create Token option. This will take me out to the GitLab UI, where it sets up everything for you to set up the permissions needed by Duo within your IDE to work. You can go ahead and copy the newly created token, and then let's head back out to VS Code. Enter your token, and then click Enter. Once you have clicked Enter, you should be authenticated out to your GitLab instance. You can verify this by seeing the issues show up within your GitLab workflow window, and also which merge requests you're currently working on. Now that we've verified that we're properly authenticated, let's verify that Duo is working within our IDE. To do this, let's test some basic functionality of Duo. I'll highlight this help handler function, and then I'll go over to the GitLab Duo chat window, where I'll use the explain command for Duo chat to ask it how this help handler function works within the context of this application. You can use the explain command on its own, or you can provide a simple prompt along with some additional context. After you click Enter, GitLab Duo will send back a response, which verifies that the GitLab Duo chat functionality is working within your IDE. You'll get a response here that just goes over the basics of how this help handler function works in this application. Now that we verified that chat works, let's go ahead and verify that code suggestions work. If I go to a new line within the help handler function, you'll see that Duo suggests that we add a log statement, which just says that the health check was successful. By clicking tab, you'll be able to add it to your code base. Now that we've done both of these things, you should be set to go working with Duo within your IDE. Thanks for watching this video on getting started with GitLab Duo. For more information on GitLab Duo, refer to some of the links that are available in the video description that will help you get started with more of the features that GitLab Duo has to offer. Thanks again for watching.